Hello there, I'm Black Bright, broadcasting out of the UK into your homes, into your space. Welcome to my channel. You know the drill, if you like what I talk about, you put the thumbs up. If you think I'm talking a load of tosh, you put the thumbs down. If you like, if you think you want to share it because you think somebody else might be interested, you can do that and you can also subscribe. Today I'm talking about blood I run red in a Jamaica. So we've been sent this video with um, the river running red and they're saying it's revelation time and times are gone so i'm going to show you the video and um yeah i'll talk about it afterwards and everybody come and test the water and then can't find how it is. Watch it. A sign I show you know. A scientist come come test the water and they know what makes it so red. And they say it get redder. You see it? You see it people? And they say they see no water. They see a box it out. You see? Look over there so. Show no can see the road. And then a drug thing got a, you think got easy? See there? See there? You see the whole of the water turn red, the river water turn red at Jamaica, yeah. Support Maria Jamaica right on the bridge in the town, you see the town there? Who wanna sign this? This is more than sign. See there, they wake up and see the river turn red. And they see the water vessels, you see the water vessels, and they see the water. You see a fleet one side. What is this? You see what I'm going? I see what I'm going to Jamaica. Yeah. Too much evil is a gone. Too much evil is a gone. Port Maria River turn red like a blood. And scientists in it right now I try to find it out and can't find it out when it turn red. Wanna see it? That me I tell you no. That me I tell you. Let me go across the road and show you again. Let me show you again. See there? The whole of the river turn red. Wanna see it? And a Jamaica me there. Jamaica. Port Maria Town. Okay? Look down there, sir. Be careful. That's how you feel live good. Alright, we don't chat. See me there, you know? On the bridge, me there. See that? Red, red, oh, what I turn, boy. That's how you feel live good. You hear me, sir? Live good. Okay, sometimes when I um, play these videos, people don't understand what they're saying and they said, oh, can you translate the patois? Basically, what he said was, he said, the scientists are testing the water and they can't find what has turned it red. The, the residents just woke up and saw the red water and it's running from one side of the river to the other side. The place where it is, is in Portmore, Jamaica. And it's right on the bridge by the town. And he reckons it's all because of the evil that's going on in Jamaica. That is why it's there. And it's end times. So that is a translation. So what have we got here? Well, Jamaica has got red rivers, but it's not the first time. We've got news reports that said red rivers appeared in North Stop, Netherlands, Bondi Beach, Australia. Beirut River, Lebanon, Zhejiang River in China, but they said that was because of um, red dye um, being found in the water. Um, a place called Swaganala in Sri Lanka and Brazil beaches, and that was said to be because of chemicals. But to be honest, um, they're saying it's because of the algae. Algae comes is in the water and it's like plant life and you can get it in red green and um, brown and they're saying that's responsible for it turning red but what 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 people don't understand they're going to find a reason for it there has to be a reason for it because they're not going to believe that it is the natural wonders and the funny thing is is that even if it um I mean, even if they were thinking about it being in the Bible, I mean, the Bible, when they was talking about the blood, um, the rivers turned red. No, the rivers turned red, turned into blood. 
I mean, does that mean the blood the blood clotted and dried? No, I don't remember seeing anywhere in the Bible where it said the river turned red and then all you know clotted and died. And um, but we know that the the life, the um, sea life, marine life died while they were in that water. But the red could have been symbolic. It doesn't have to be blood, but. What um, people are saying is because it's not blood, it is not symbolic of end times. So, um, in Revelation 16, 4, it said, Then the third angel poured out his bowl into the rivers and the springs of water, and they became blood. So, we do not know if that blood is symbolic or whether it was actually blood. Like many of the miracles in the Bible, the colours are symbolic. So whilst the rivers are not actually blood, in fact, they are the colour of blood. So we can't dismiss that. It could be a kind of a miracle. We don't know why it's happening. You know, maybe it is natural. Maybe it is natural resources. Maybe it is the algae. But, you know, we don't wipe it out. You can't wipe it out and just use that as an excuse because does the water ever turn green? Does it turn brown? I've heard that it turns brown sometimes. Maybe it does turn green. But why all of a sudden red? Why overnight? Does this algae just all of a sudden disperse into the water for no reason? What causes it to disperse? What causes it to change colour? You have to ask yourself all these questions because that algae has been in the river for centuries. So why all of a sudden it decides on a particular evening or a particular day to turn the river red. Anyway, um, and what I was thinking was, okay, it was the third angel that um, poured the water and made it turn into blood. So that would have meant, this would have to have meant that the first angel has come and has you know, talked about us um, celebrating this on the Sabbath. What did the first angel do? Um, yeah, he was, the first angel would have called us to worship the creator of the word of the world and specifically um, instructed us to keep the Sabbath. Now, there is no one out there at the moment encouraging us to keep the Sabbath. You know, there's some argument that the sabbath is on the saturday there's some argument that it could be on the sunday I, I i really don't know that much about it but it would mean that that first angel would have had to have appeared and as far as we know he or she hasn't it also means that the second um, angel would have had to have appeared um the second angel there was great calamity now that could be the coronavirus for all we know we do not know you know, sometimes we could see signs and they was talking about, oh, um, for the second angel, all the plant life, the trees and the green would be burnt. But what about all those trees in bloody Australia, all those forest fires? We don't know if it's going to be in a particular place or whether it's going to be the whole world. We don't know. So we can't dismiss everything just because it doesn't make sense. And that's what sometimes happens with people. If it doesn't make sense, it doesn't mean anything because people have logical and rational minds. People, Some people don't believe in a higher power. Some people don't believe in miracles. Some people don't believe hardly in anything. Some people just, you know, live for today, each, each to their own. But the point is, is that you can't minimize it just because you can't rationalize it. Um, what else is there? The second angel would also have needed to arrive, calling those in Babylon to depart from her. Now, at one point, we had rusters talking about leave Babylon, and it was a big thing back in the 80s. But rusters gone quiet. Don't hear them so much now. Maybe it's because it was the older generation that kind of um, evokes that kind of... Um, what do you call it? That kind of sense, you know, the Babylon are back to Africa. So we don't hear it so much. You know, some of the old burning spear and um, culture and all of those artists, sometimes you'll hear it through their music. But rusters have kind of gone quiet. And I think it's because they're getting old. And the younger generation have a new agenda. They, they're not following in their parents' footsteps a lot of the time. A lot of the younger people are commercial dreads anyway. 
they're not real Rasta. Okay, so um, so no one, so no one has um, the voices quite now. So the second angel needs to have come. Let me see what else have we got here. So yeah, I just wanted to read something. I'm going to put the link below. Basically, it says. I'm going to read again what it said in Revelation 6.3. In Revelation 16.3, during the second half of tribulation, God will indeed turn the waters of the sea into blood. Now, this is the waters of the sea, and that is a river. The second angel poured out his bowl on the sea, and it turned into blood like that of a dead person. But there again, we do not know our language is going to be totally different to that of the Bible. The definitions of what we have given, we've, we've created our own vocabulary. So there's nothing to say that a sea back then was a river now, what we call a river. So, like I said, you can't dismiss anything. Okay, so the angel poured out the bowl on the sea and it turned into blood like a dead, like that of a dead person. And every living thing in the sea died. Now, I read somewhere else that it was a third of the living creatures in the sea that died and a third of the ships were destroyed. So, you know, there's some kind of disparity there. Then in verses four to six, God does the same to the world's fresh water supply. The third angel poured out his bowl on the rivers and springs of water and they became blood then i heard the angel in charge of the water say you are just in these judgments O holy one you who are and who were for they have shed the blood of your holy people and your prophets and you have given them blood to drink as they deserve we also see that God's two special witnesses during the tribulation will be empowered to perform miracles. They have power to turn the waters into blood and to strike the earth with every kind of plague as often as they want. Revelation 11.6 The two end time prophets will have the same ability as Moses, who turned the Nile River into blood, Exodus 7.20. So we don't know if there's two people out there who are responsible for the plague that's going on and turning um, the water in Portmore into blood. We, have, we, we just don't know. Anyway, I just thought I'd um, cover it since it was shared with me. And um, yeah, any thoughts would be appreciated. That's all for now. Bye-bye.